All right, so what's your advice for someone that is looking to become a high ticket coach? Maybe they just got their coaching certification. Maybe they're working a corporate nine to five and they have a natural skill set. They have some talent. They have an expertise that they can actually, you know, teach someone that where they can actually build a program. And eventually, like you, Corey, you know, leave the corporate field. Yeah. Yeah, Twan, I mean, like leaving the corporate field was 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 uh, hard, but uh, but I, I would say I got the blueprint to do it again. Um, I think the first thing before we get into like the high ticket secrets to getting this done is is becoming a product of the product. Mm. Like a lot of times we talk to people who want to do exactly what I did. Yep. They want to leave. They want to they want to get out into the world and, and do coaching, but they're not a product of the product. One of our mentors told us become a product of the product. If you're going to be a high ticket coach, you need to invest high ticket in yourself. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a quote that comes to mind is, uh, I think, from our mentor, John Maxwell. He says, we, we don't attract what we want or what we need. We attract who we are. Somebody needs to write that down right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a big part of our just growth in becoming a high ticket coaches is, like, we had to invest in high ticket. You know, one of the things that really irks me is when, when I'm talking to maybe a prospect that wants to jump into this high ticket coaching game and they have never invested into high ticket. Um, they've just bought these, you know, $97 courses yeah. and they have a plethora of all these like free courses that they've never really even opened up. And now they want to try to jump in the, the game and, and charge someone like five to $10,000. Here, Let me tell you why this is not really viable for someone that is not invested into high ticket. Uh, I would say the number one reason if you want to become a high ticket coach, if you can't pay, it's hard for you to charge. And let me give you an example. One of the greatest services we do inside our business right now is we charge coaches premium prices to work with us. Yeah. And you're probably saying, well, what's the advantage of that? There's a big advantage. When someone, let's say for example, pays us 10 or even $30,000, that's a big leap of faith to pay that. Yep. But here's the benefit of it. Now they can actually believe that they can actually charge someone ten to twenty to thirty thousand dollars because they know exactly how it feels. And especially if they got results, it just builds their confidence now to actually charge premium prices. That's the biggest yep. benefit of becoming a product. You just can't play this game without actually investing into it. Yeah, and and people ask us like. Corey Tuan, hey, how did y'all build y'all business? You know, at this point, game, we we read about three million dollars in just two and a half years. Okay, uh, and here's how we did that: is we've invested over three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Right. Matter of fact, this year, just this year alone, uh, in the last, I will call it now, four months, we've invested fifty four thousand dollars in one coach. Because guess what? That 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 coach is doing thirty million dollars a year have some great things going on and we want to learn from him we want to learn what the system is because we know like if we invest in him we learn the system then we're going to grow to the next level so when you have when we have our clients that come in and maybe they haven't charged more than two thousand dollars but then they pay us ten thousand or twenty or thirty thousand dollars guess what now we have one coach let's say joanna she came in she was she was doing a nineteen hundred dollar coaching offer yep she's selling twenty thousand dollar offers now yeah at a high rate like and and think about that like what's the difference between the 1997 joanna and the twenty thousand dollar joanna how does she show up on those calls she shows up at a high level i think i need to ask that question to somebody on the audience right now like how would you show up compared to someone paying you five hundred dollars a month versus someone that just paid you five thousand right yeah i would show up totally different if someone paid me more right but what about anthony it was thirty dollars a month. Man, you can get him as a bargain. Instead of paying thirty dollars a month, you can pay him three hundred dollars for the whole year. He was on calls every single week. The guy was on TED Talks before. He met. He was on, on stage, stage with, with the president. president. Yep. The guy, John Maxwell, certified high level leader, lieutenant level. in the Navy, and here it is. He's doing thirty dollars per month. Now, just about a month ago, he said, "Fellas." I just sold another one of my ten thousand dollar offers, full pay, paid in full. Yeah. He said now the ten thousand dollar Anthony was showing up. Look, no doubt, Anthony still was showing up as a ten thousand dollar person. I know it for thirty dollars a month, but now realizing the ten thousand, it makes him show up even more as the ten thousand dollar. Mm, you know what? So uh, I just had this flashback, right? 
one of our first high ticket masterminds i think we paid twenty five thousand dollars into that remember we were yep. in scottsdale arizona and we were hanging out with uh with our with our boys clients and community and mark yeah. mark Quell russell right <laughs> yeah. shout out to oh, mark Quell, mark Quell russell uh wealthy black coach summit man y'all check him out um this was our first exposure to just being around heavy hitters in the industry we were newbies at that time i think we were barely making 10 15 yeah, maybe 20 k about 20 almost yeah. 20 to 30. we mark. had just ascended into <laughs> so a scale mastermind here uh right at 20k and so we were just barely running ads and we were feeling good we were in this room y'all with some heavy hitters and i'm talking about people that were making half a million dollars a month in their online coaching business and me and course in there like rookies thinking to ourselves dude do we even belong in this room <laughs> like well, there was a level of imposter syndrome if, oh, even man. if i don't Big even time, know bro. that's true <laughs> But we felt like, man, are we even good enough to be in this room? And I'll never forget sitting down, uh, having dinner with uh, Andre and Mark Quell. Two good guys. Two great guys. <laughs> and just the conversations we had with them. And I'll, I'll never forget what Mark Quell said. And here's the power of proximity, y'all. He said, I was once where you guys were. And you guys are right there. You guys are going to make it. You know? And his, his one financial advice, the one advice that I took away from that was, man, when you get home, get you a cpa a cpa we did too yeah we get you a cpa that was like his biggest advice for us at making twenty thousand dollars a month but i i think i think that the the powerful lesson here that we want you to take away uh from high ticket secret number one is when you become a product of the product you can actually help others evolve into becoming just like you that's good you know and and who you play with matters who you learn from matters and i mean just who you surround yourself before we were in that mastermind, we were, we were, we were, we, were, we got stuck in the free zone. We were around some good people. Let's just put it that way. But, but everybody celebrated free. Like, hey, I just did this free mastermind. Hey, I did this free lunch and learn. Great people, but they weren't charging. And that was celebrated. Free was celebrated when we first. And we, I remember the day we got in that mastermind. We we got into that <laughs> that Facebook group. I sent something to Tuan. It was like the fifteenth <laughs> of the month. And somebody was, was was saying, hey, I, I just surpassed $350,000 this month. I was like, Tuan, it's the 15th of, this mo of the month. This dude has done over $350,000. And look, the money was the eye-opening for us. Like, it wasn't that like, hey, you know what? That we was going to worship money. Because like, hey, we're kingdom entrepreneurs. But it was, a, you know, in, in entrepreneurship, there's a, there's a measuring stick. Yeah. Uh, and we wanted to be able to go into the marketplace, make a good profit so we can give back to the community and give back big. And that's where our minds was. But but it was a whole paradigm shift that we had to shift everything to believe that hey, God has purposely designed us for greatness and we can double our talents. Mm. And this is what it looks like, possibly in some form or fashion, it's going to double your talents. Yeah. So then it was like, hey, you know what? We can too. If they can do it, we can do it too. Yeah. So y'all write notes. High ticket secret number one: become a product of the product. Let's talk about high ticket secret number two. I like this one. Uh, this has been foundational for what we teach our clients now. Is high ticket secret number two is build for scale and not for burnout. Uh, the key phrase here is: just because you have clients doesn't mean you have a scalable business model. I want to go back into some research that I recently found. I can't remember. Uh, exactly where it came from but he said that 81 percent of coaches never pay, make it past year three you know because of three reasons number one they just can't make enough money they can't get enough sales and they often go back to maybe getting a nine to five and they just quit the coaching industry period right uh the reason number two is they burn out mm -hmm. and I, I think a big part of the burnout here is if you only have one one-on-one -on -one model you can't really scale one-on-one -on -one because one-on-one -on -one clients take up a lot of your time. And then with one-on-one -on -one clients, if they're not all the same avatar, you're gonna find yourself always customizing each and every single person. Now, I'm not saying if you're doing one-on-one -on -one that it, it, it's, it's not the wrong business model. It might not be the right business model for you if you want to scale. So at the end of the day, you know, high ticket coaching, it's one way it's not the way right just depending on where you're at but when we talk about building for scale not for burnout we talk about this hybrid group coaching model like talk yeah. about that 
yeah, a lot of times we don't fully understand what coaching and group coaching is all about. So I love the hybrid model, which allows us to help our clients build a short course. Like your course is very short. It tells about your system. It takes your people from point A to point B and it gives them a result. And it's coupled with one group coaching call per week. So literally you got a group, a group, uh, a course, digital course, mm. plus one hour per week. Now you got a, a high ticket hybrid coaching model, which is scalable. Now the way we build and we call it the hybrid models because you can put clients in at any point. So it's not like uh, when we were doing masterminds, we'll start, we'll start a mastermind on like November 1st and then a mastermind will last to January 1st, but we couldn't put anybody in past like week three because it would be kind of weird for them and then they're too far behind. Yeah. We teach you how to build a program where you can put people in any day that you want and plus, now they got their curriculum. They can look at the curriculum. They won't feel behind. They can just jump on a weekly group coaching call. We On our group coaching calls, we just talk about what's in the curriculum and expand what's in the curriculum. We don't have to teach anything different. We do Q&A, and it works out fabulous. Yeah, and I think the key here in having that you know, hybrid group coaching model with you know, limited one-on-one -on -one access is with that course, with that standalone course, they can actually do it themselves yep. and they can move as fast as they want. They can jump on the weekly group coaching calls where we really do minimal teaching. We're there just to really kind of help them get unstuck, maybe lead them back to the modules, maybe answer Q and A. So it doesn't take a lot of you know time for us to like teach because everything is already in the course. Now the yep. key here though, is having that one perfect dream avatar, not having like, five or six different avatars on this call, like everyone in our coaching calls is one avatar, right? That's it. And you know, to sum it up, like who is our ideal avatar? It's a coach that's looking to build a profitable online coaching business and eventually grow to like 100,000 and more using a Facebook group system, which we call our Facebook growth funnel, which we'll talk about that in another video, but that right there is how you build for scale and not for burnout. It's good. Most of us, we have this winning mindset. We have optimism when we jumped into this online space. Where most of us fail is having 50% mindset, but then the other 50% is we have the wrong business model. That's where you have to choose a winning business model if you wanna build for scale and not for burnout. Um, let's talk about high ticket secret number three. Uh, if, you're, if you're taking notes, write this down, is focus on the power of one. Okay. So Focus on the power of one. Um, here's a viral one-liner I want you to write down is, when you get linear, you get lethal. Break that down. Yeah, so you get linear, you get lethal. And here's what I mean by that is, is your message becomes so succinct, so linear, so focused in the marketplace. I remember hearing John Maxwell even say, like, I'd rather be an inch wide and a mile deep than the mile wide and the inch deep. He's talking about getting linear and lethal. So, so good. I, I, I think about Martin Luther King. You know, he walked this earth. He had a marketing message that he he taught. You know, he everybody knew what he was about. Even the FBI put him on a watch list. He was so lethal. He didn't have a gun, but he was lethal in the marketplace. Yeah, he was. So now it's like, how do I get so linear and lethal in my messages? So, think, so I want you to think about, am I linear and am I lethal? So write that down. And then start thinking, you know, because when you're there and you got the one client, it's like this power of one strategy. You got one client, one product. We use one Facebook group, right? So, and we got one marketing message. Now, what that does is, Twan, it gives us so much bandwidth because we're not thinking about all this different stuff and it declutters your mind, declutters your business. And it makes it so scalable you can run. Yeah. It's like the Arthur Hebrews, you know, I don't know why the scriptures came to my mind. Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, therefore we have this, so, this cloud of witnesses and let us lay aside the sin that so easily besets us and trips us up pretty much. This power of one lets you lay aside all that stuff that easily besets you and trips you up in your business. Mm. I don't know if the scripture always works with that, yeah. but the concept does, right? 